You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. You can make this possible. In fact, I'm going to bring in investigative reporter Greg Palace right now. Greg, I'm looking at this here. Uh, again, Wayne County Board of Canvassers deadlock. And the Republican chair, Monica Palmer, actually said she'll be open to certifying the vote, quote, in the communities other than, than Detroit. <laughs> to certify everything but Detroit. Gee, what color are the people of Detroit? I, I don't know. Do you know? Do you have any hints? Do you have any idea of the color of their ballots? Maybe bluish? What do you think? You know, look, we went through this before, and I'm very – by the way, this is no joke because uh, the, the Trump campaign's gambit, as I've warned before, is to try to get states not to certify their ballots. Oh, there's so much fraud. There's so much confusion. Mail-in ballots, we can't figure it all out. They may have come from Mars. You know, you heard that from John Donnie Jr. Um, and so if they can get states to say we can't certify, oh, it's just too difficult. Um, if you can get Michigan to do that and you get Pennsylvania to do that um, and maybe uh, Georgia or Arizona with these Republican legislatures, uh, if they say then Joe Biden doesn't get 260, 270 electoral votes, neither does Trump. But under the 12th Amendment to the Constitution, if those states don't certify, it goes to the House, goes to the House of Representatives, not Pelosi. She doesn't pick uh, the president out of her sorting hat. It's one state, one vote. South Carolina and South Dakota get one the same vote as New York and California. And uh, the Republicans control at least 26 delegations. So that is the, the Hail Mary pass. That's their last desperate attempt to uh, thwart the voters. I'm very concerned. So let's talk about um, your contention that John Ossoff won? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm I'm looking, you know, look, I'm a statistician. I've been working now in Georgia for seven years, starting in 14 when I first got Stacey Abrams on national TV for the first time. I've been looking at how they're handling their voter rolls and the, and the count of the mail-in ballots. So first of all, um, the ACLU and Black Voters Matter issued my report that are you ready? 198,000 Georgians were illegally removed from the voter rolls in the two years before the election, 198,000. And that included, as, as you know, people have seen, uh, some people have seen my uh, little film put out by Leonardo DiCaprio. It's Martin Luther King's 92-year-old cousin. We've got, uh, you know, uh, broadcaster Raheem Shabazz, um, Ashley Jones, all these voters of color who I was down at the polling stations were thrown out of the polling stations saying you can't vote. You've lost your registration. 198,000, that's huge. And if they'd been allowed to vote, it would be all over. But there's another uh, steal that I'm looking at. And Kelly's correct about, um, you know, they're cheaters, which is the non-count of mail-in ballots. Now, we've warned about this. You know, uh, MIT, Caltech said that even before this election, 22% of mail-in ballots never get counted. Uh, people don't get their ballots on time so that they can't return them. I had a Georgia voter just send me a note saying, I mailed my ballot 10 days in advance. They say they didn't receive it till after the election. I lost my vote. But the other is that there's all kinds of cockamamie reasons to disqualify mail-in ballots, uh, absentee ballots. Uh, you, they, you didn't have the internal ballot. You have to have two envelopes. A lot of people forget to put in that second envelope or got torn. They didn't put it in. That's called a naked ballot. You lose your vote. Your signature didn't match, um, didn't uh, match uh, your uh, registration signature. Now, in, in America, we had 141,000 people uh, not have their votes counted. Now, those weren't stolen ballots that were forged. We don't have uh, hundreds of thousands of people being arrested for forgery. They're just using this as an excuse. Non-experts, boogaloo boys, uh, Republican operatives are saying, I don't like that signature, and those ballots are being tossed. So I'm trying to check with Georgia. Now, normally, this stuff, Roland, is very public. You know, you're supposed to know how many mail-in ballots there are, how many were counted, how many were not counted, why they're disqualified. They have to report this to the federal government. However, 
I'm not getting any responses out of Georgia that you're supposed to have. So I did get the, the total from Gwinnett County, which is uh, one of the big counties that make up Atlanta. And I found out, are you ready? 30% of the mail-in ballots were disqualified, rejected. 30%? 30%. Now, I have to say, that's one county out of uh, over 150 counties in Georgia. It's one of the biggest. But we're having trouble getting the numbers from the other counties. Now, Gwinnett's always had problems with mail-in voting, so that, that might be a high number. But if it's even 10% or 20%, and remember that overwhelmingly mail-in ballots were Democratic because the Democratic Party pushed the mail-in ballots. Republicans told their voters, don't vote uh, by mail. And we know from the counts in many, many states, uh, in, in uh, for example, in Michigan, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, we know those mail-in ballots are just crushingly uh, Biden ballots, which would also mean in Georgia, Ossoff and Warnock ballots. Now, because Reverend Warnock was in a three-way race, there's no way he could avoid a runoff uh, in the so-called jungle primary. However, John Ossoff was just that close to being over the top, just a smidge from walking away with the election without a need of a runoff. And I, you know, the, the numbers, I'm a statistician, between the purge voters and the votes rejected in the mail, I don't see how Ossoff, if you count the ballots that were thrown out, if they were reviewed, I think you would find an Ossoff victory. So, so, so what must we do to walk people through, to get them to do, do what's necessary so they don't have their ballots tossed out? Okay, number one, check your registration. Now, if you showed up and you voted, but they gave you a provisional ballot, that means you are not registered. Uh, you've got to register by December 7th. Go to Secretary of State's website, register online. Don't go to an office and register on a piece of paper. Register online and do it right away because in Georgia they have to, quote, verify your signature and registration, which is crazy. Most states don't do that before you register, but Georgia does. So you got to do it now. That's one. December 7th is the deadline, but I would check it now. The other, if you didn't vote and you're not sure, you think you've been registered, I just told you about I've said, you know, Martin Luther King's 92-year-old cousin was thrown off the voter rolls. She was attempting, when I was there, I watched this, attempting to vote for her 50th year in Atlanta. And they said, you're no longer registered here. So please check if you're on, among the 198,000 who've been purged. You don't know it. I mean, they, they say, claim they send uh, most, not everyone, but they said they sent out postcards to most people. You don't see it. It's junk mail. So you don't know if you're still registered unless you absolutely had your ballot accepted. And you have to be very careful about that. If you're sent a provisional ballot, or if you don't know, if you didn't vote in the general election, you better register, re-register right now. If you move down the street, the law says if you move within your county in Georgia, you don't have to re-register. But if you don't re-register, the chances are they're going to block you. It doesn't matter what's fair or what's right or what's the law. It's Georgia. Law doesn't, you know, we have a National uh, Voter Registration Act the national law, it seems to bounce off the Georgia borders. And that's, you know, I'm very concerned because now you have the right wing, uh, you have the, the Trumpites and Lindsey Graham saying, oh, the Secretary of State of Georgia allowed uh, all these illegal ballots. Well, that's, everyone knows that's nonsense. They can't show us a single, not one single bad ballot. But what we're missing here is that that same Secretary of State of Georgia, Raffin's perjure, perjure's his name, really, um, he, he's blocked legal voters from voting and his rules have stopped legal votes from being counted. So no, there's no fraud by voters, but there's fraud upon the voters, especially voters of color. It's overwhelming. When I was down in Georgia, every voter that was blocked from the voter rolls was a voter of color. Well, Greg, we're going to stay on top of this, constantly reminding people what must be done there in Georgia to make sure it doesn't happen again uh, in this all-important critical runoff of these two races that will take place on January 5th. We appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Okay. See you at gregpalace.com to check your registration. All right. Thank you, sir. Keep, it. keep it up. It's time to be smart. When we control our institutions, we win. We win. This is the most important news show on television of any racial background. Y'all put two, three, four, five, 10, 15, 20, $30 on this and keep this going. What you've done, Roland, since this crisis 
team out in full bloom. Anybody watching this, tell your friends. Go back and look at the last two weeks, especially of Roland Martin Unfiltered. I mean, hell, go back and look at the last two days. You've had sitting United States senators today, Klobuchar and Harris. Whatever you have that you have, you can bring to Roland Martin Unfiltered to support it. Please do, because this information may literally save your life. Watch Roland Martin Unfiltered daily at 6 p.m. Eastern on YouTube, Facebook, or Periscope, or go to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Support the Roland Martin Unfiltered Daily Digital Show by going to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Our goal is to get 20,000 of our fans contributing 50 bucks each for the whole year. You can make this possible. RolandMartinUnfiltered.com.